Welcome back, everybody. This is about to look like a good game, because, um, it looks like we have 40 people, 50 people, 55 people, and there's nothing we can do for the starvation. Because right now, everybody is dying. I can't control it, because they're living everywhere. So, like, they're trying to move from one point to another to get food. And, secondly, we're losing a lot of people. We can't gather food efficiently. I just, like, start putting people, like, one, 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 and then just, like, and hope, like, one of the herdsmen those chickens instead of uh, wool and stuff like that. Because at the moment, um, we cannot do anything. We literally cannot do anything. Um, vendor, tailor, and blacksmith. Yeah, this looks like the end. Once we, well, once we lose either. I don't think we're gonna need a vendor. Um, so if we if we lose either crap. Okay, so if we lose either the uh, if we lose the woodcutter, blacksmith, or the tailor, we're done. Like like there's no way they're gonna be able to survive. Like my prediction is if we lose the tailor. They'll survive long enough with uh, coats and stuff like that, but if we lose the blacksmith, they'll survive less. Forester, uh, that's going to be like the number two spot and the number one spot for likely we're going to die from something is the woodcutter. Because once the woodcutter's gone, like, we're out of fuel. Like, like this is... This is the road trip that we've taken, and now we're out of fuel, and there's no gas station. So we're pretty much boned. I'm trying to, like, keep the gatherers up so that, like... So that they keep getting some food and trying to, like, work things out. But I don't think that's gonna happen. And I believe our forester died. Yep, he died. So now, we're running on the reserve logs that we have left. Oh, and we just got a labor just in time. Just in time. Get more sheep. I'm okay with not having sheep. Um, too bad when they die, they don't just like go into like a gathering mode by itself without like having a farmer farming or something like that. It's kind of a shame. So right now we have one person starving really do much. We're gonna just sit here and watch people die. Yeah. I kinda don't wanna lose our cows because that's how we got our cows. It took us a while to get cows. And we have cows. I'll trade my berries as a la last ditch effort. Um, I don't know how much that is, I think that's like 80. The I can do is 80. Right. Now we gotta sign a trader. There's always one person starving. We're getting laborers now that the school is closed, that's 
That's a plus. Downside. We just lost. Let's see how many people we lost in that short amount of time. <laughs> Look at the graph. It just like dipped all the way down. So within a five year period, we just lost a population of about, I'll call it 190. And now we're down to just under 40. It's actually under 30, but I'm going to be optimistic and say under 40. So we pretty much lost 75%. 75% of our town. And I doubt that starvation is going to really end. Because there's still people starving, and the children are starving. And if the children start starving, then the adults start starving. Then it's gonna be the end. Holy crap, look at all the wind and stuff that they gathered over, the, over here. Look at that. I'm impressed. Good job, people. Even though now you guys are now living very far away. And likely going to die from something. Someone has froze to death. That's not a good sign. All these crops are not being worked on because I don't know, something bad happened. Something in terms of farming related happened. Uh, we still have food, and we somehow still have firewood, so that's a good thing. But then again, I wouldn't say it's a good thing, because someone already froze to death. This is not turning out so well. This is starting to become a really sad story of how Failville now failed. Failville has failed! With a great starvation of 72. Oh, uh, th this is not pretty. Not a pretty sight. Everyone's dying. Can't do anything about it. Everyone's getting murdered. Murdered, I mean. Everyone's getting murdered. I don't even know what accent that is. I heard I can do a pretty good Bostonian, but aside from that, like I don't, I don't have like a Canadian accent. I don't think I can't, can't do the Canadian accent thing. Um, unless you, unless you consider sorry as like, as one of them, like. Sorry if you people are dying, kind of thing, but uh, I, I, don't, I don't really feel bad. I'm not the mayor of this town, I'm just God. I'm just God directing them on how to build. Uh, yeah, it looks like. Looks like we're now going under 20 now. Get ready for it. Because there's still people dying. There's still people dying. I have like full gatherers and now they're almost down halfway. I got a skeleton crew of people working. Uh, I'm switch the tailor up to a blacksmith. I, that's the best I can do. Okay. Now that we're out of fuel, or out of coal, I mean, I think that's coal. But, um, now that we're out of coal, we can switch it up to iron tools. Going back to basics here. And it looks like everyone's kind of like centered around this area, which is good, in a sense. Now nobody's starving, and we have 23 citizens. 23 citizens. There's still people living very far away. This is 
probably the saddest moment of this town where almost 80% of everybody has died. And it's now down to like a few people that have managed to stave off starvation and hypothermia and hypothermia. And no match just came to town. Two. Two nomads. I'm gonna allow it. Because we have no choice. We really have no choice here. We have to actually accept people. Um, let's go with the tailor. I kinda wanna get a hunting lodge down so we can actually get some warm clothes, but I don't think it's possible at the moment. Because we don't even have people to like keep food going in this town. Let's check the gathers out here. I'm not even getting a lot of food. I'm gonna close down a couple huts here, just so they all stay centered. If we can actually recover from this, it is going to be a Hail Mary. Um, let's close this down. While we're at it, we might as well... Uh, there's no work button, so I can't do anything about it. Okay. No, I'm fine with that. Um... Shut it all down. Shut it all down. Mm. Isn't there like another gather or something? Even I'm losing track of my gather sets. Yeah. We do have enough people, so we're going to just open up one of these and just make sure these people over here have food. Oh, man. We literally decimated this place. Upside, though, we have laborers. Yay! Yay! We're pretty much back to episode two. This is pretty much what happened here. We're back to episode two. Where everybody has been starving. And now we're down to like the two remaining people. On the upside though, like as more and more people come into town and more people get more and we can actually populate. And apparently these fields don't yield as much food as I was hoping for. Like maybe if we filled it up with like a lot of farmers, which we did, it didn't provide us with enough food. Yeah, looks like it didn't provide us with enough food. Like one of these spaces pretty much provides food for maybe like five people. And that's about it. And five is just like a generous number. I'm just like throwing numbers out of my head. Hmm. And I don't think the orchards did too well either. Yeah. Looks like the orchards and the crops don't really yield as much, but the gatherers that's are kind of like the main driving force for them. For earning food. Let's check out our overview. Where everyone's clothed, but now we're not very educated. We're not educated. And it looks like we're coming back up from a dip just under 25. Ugh. That was painful.
painful. That was... That was very painful. Oh, man. I'm gonna just keep playing and hope to get people back. Until next time, let's hope for the best.